We're continuing our deep dive into Google Workspace, and today we're going over Google Drive and how you, as a real estate agent, can organize your files and all your important paperwork and keep it for the required amount of time, all in Google Drive. So let's go. Hey everybody, it's your favorite tech trainer, Bren Brewer, and yes, today we're going over Google Drive. So if you haven't already, open up Chrome, and I'm going to show you how to get to Google Drive. You're going to make sure you're logged in to your KW account, or whichever account that you use for real estate, into Chrome. You're going to click on the Google Apps button, and you're going to navigate over to Google Drive. Now I have a ton of information in my Google Drive. And so what I want you to do is you're going to click on your Google Drive and you're going to click on create a new folder and you're going to label it transactions. Okay, I already have this folder created and it's actually in one of my shared drives so that I can share it with other people. I have a whole transactions shared drive. And once you create your transactions folder, you'll start putting in years like this. So this is 2024. You'll, you'll make a 2024 folder and you can go back to the years that you were before and you can do that as well. But this is how you get to Google Drive and how you create a folder. Okay, so when you create your folder, when you go into it, you're going to start labeling your transactions as buyer and the property address, and you can also put their last name at the end. Okay, but mine for purposes of today is just buyer and the property address. And I do that for all of my transactions, whether they're buyers, listings, landlords, or tenants. Okay, and you can see here, let's go into this one. I label them also according to the folders that I have to turn in. So I make a listed folder inside of that transaction, an under contract folder inside of that transaction, and a closed folder inside of that transaction. And I know those are the documents that I need to turn in for each folder, and I can keep them there. One other thing I'd like to show you too is how to create a folder within a folder. You would just click the new button in the top left, and click on create new folder. I also keep all the pictures from all my listings inside of these folders as well and any other documents or files that pertain to this transaction. So I can go and print to PDF all my emails, put them in here as well, and then I have a full file of everything I need. Now you might say that you don't have all of this because you were letting command and DocuSign keep that for you. Well, Google Drive is your cloud storage, so don't don't let command be your cloud storage. Don't let DocuSign or Dot Loop or ZipForms be your cloud storage. You actually need storage either in Google Drive or on a separate hard drive or an external hard drive from your computer. Okay, so let me show you how to go into command. I've showed you how to go to Google Drive and make the folders, but you don't have anything to put in there if you're using other places to store your documents. So let's go ahead and we're going to go into command. And I'll show you in your opportunity where to go and get the file. So let me pull up the one that we were just in. Where did it go? Here we go, this one. And I am going to go to documents. And here at the very top of my documents, it says export documents. I want to protect it. You could do that. And then I want to export all documents and all folders. You can also send this directly to a client. And so I'm going to click export. And then the export will be in process and you'll get a notification when you can download that export. So you can see here, document update, we can click on download files, and then we can download that file and put it on our computer. And I'm going to save that. And then I'm going to take that whole file and I'm going to unzip it. If you're on a Mac, you just double click. If you are on a Windows computer, you will want to right click and click extract all. And so once you have that on your computer, you can upload it into your Google Drive. So here I will go here to my new, new, probably going to be a folder upload. We're going to call it from command. I'm going to click create. And then I'm going to come in here 
new folder upload and I'm going to go this is what I just downloaded from command and I'm going to go ahead and click upload on that and then it says it's going to upload 24 files go ahead and click upload and that's it that's how you organize your files and go get your files from command if you're a KW agent and that's also how you organize your files inside of your transactions folder it's going to keep you nice and neat so you're going to have everything you need you can also search really quickly for something you might need so say you needed a survey for a property look I search survey and I have two property surveys coming up right now so you can see if you label things properly you name things properly you can find them easily in Google Drive if you organize them as well. Okay, so now that we have our full file in our folder from command, we can actually go into that folder and we can start organizing it. So you see here I have all my documents. So the executed contract, that is going to be a under contract document. So I'm going to click the three dots on this folder and I'm going to click organize and then I'm going to click move and I'm going to move that to my under contract folder in the listing move so now I can see it's not here let me go back to my listing and let's look under contract and you can see that has been moved to this folder right I'm going to go back to all of my from command folders. I'm going to go in here to this folder. Addendum concerning right to terminate. It tells me it's under contract here. So I can just click the three dots, click organize, click move, and I'm going to move it to that under contract folder again and move it. Same here. This is a listed document. I'm going to share, I'm not going to share, I'm going to organize it, move, and I am going to move it to my listing folder to listed and move and move. And I'm going to keep doing that for all of these documents. Okay. Now, the real beauty of Google Drive comes in when you have team members that you want to share documents with. So let's, for instance, say I want to go to this document and I want to share it. I can come in here, click on the three dots, click on share, and I can get either a link to share this document or I can add people here by their email address. So let's just share it real quick. And then when I do that, I can make them editors viewers or commenters. Now if this is someone that you only want them to see the document, they can't remove it, delete it, do anything that with, with it like that, you will want them to be a viewer only. If you want them to be able to make comments on the document, tell you something that you need, make them a commenter. And if they're on your team, your transaction coordinator or something like that, an assistant, they may need to have editor privileges. So just make sure that whoever you're sharing it with, you give them the proper privileges and then you click send. Okay. It's going to tell you that they're outside of your organization if they don't have an email address that belongs to the same domain you're using. So you're going to click share anyway. And then that person has now been shared this document here. Now, if you have clients that you want to share the documents with, then you may want to share the entire folder with them. If that's the case, you're going to click on the three dots on the folder, the entire folder. You see, this is my folder here that has all my documents in it. I'm going to go back to my 2023 folder. I'm going to click on the three dots. I'm going to click share and share again. And it says share listing 17203 Queenslake. It's the entire folder and its contents. Okay. It's not just the document. Now here you get a little bit more permissions. They can be viewers, commenters, contributors, or content managers, meaning they can add, edit, move, delete, and share content to this folder. So if you're sharing this with clients, make sure you make them viewers only so that they can see the documents, but they can't delete them or add their own, right? Because this is your folder. And then you'll click send. 
and share anyway. So if we drill down into this folder, you can see we just moved a couple documents into the under contract. You can right click it and you can tell that you have a menu of items here that you can use similar to what's on your computer probably. You can open it with and Google will want to open this as a PDF with Google Docs. You can download the document, you can rename the document, you can make a copy of the document, you can share it, you can organize it, and you can look at your file information or you can delete it. And remember as real estate agents we want to keep our documents for what our state commission tells us to, the amount of time in our state commission tells us to. So these are the things that you can do here. You also have buttons up here at the top as well that do things. So let me select this document. You can see it's selected because it's blue. I can hover my mouse over. This is the share button, download button, move button, delete button. We can copy the link to this document or we can click the three dots for more actions and that's similar to when we right clicked the actual document here. Okay. So that's Google Drive at a nutshell. I do want to show you a couple of features on the Google Drive app as well. So let's move over to a new tab and I'll show you my app. So yes, 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 Google Drive does have an app and it is beautiful. So here we are, we are in Google Drive, we're in the app, and you can see it's exactly like what's on my computer in the Google Drive website and I'm just going to go into my 2023 transactions just like I was and the same listing that we were working on here and you can see I have my listed, my under contract, my closed folder. Well say you have some handwritten document that you might want to add to command, right? And I just have a piece of paper written here that I'm going to show you guys. You can click the plus button in the bottom right and you have all kinds of things that you can do here. You can add a Google Doc, you can add a Google Sheet, you can add Google Slides, you can add a folder, you can upload documents from your phone. So if these documents are not on your computer or they're not in command, they're on your phone, you can upload them here. But this is one of the most beautiful features ever is the scan button. And what it's going to do is, I just have a piece of paper sitting here, it is going to scan a document that you may have in front of you. And see here it's scanned this. This is a compliance checklist. This has nothing to do with this folder. But if it was a document that I had sitting here that I needed to put in uh, my folder, I could do that. And then you can see you can add a page. So let me show you how to do that. I'm going to click this plus button right here to add a page. And then you can see there is the rest of my document. And it's scanning and I don't, I'm not pressing any buttons. It's just using artificial intelligence and knowing that I'm scanning something, right? And so now I'm done. I can crop this and rotate if I wanted to and click apply when I'm done. Let me go back over to page one. I can do the same thing. I can also filter it. I can, um, Go back over here to the clean button and it says brush to erase. So maybe I want to erase all of that shadow or something's in my way. I can erase some things, right? Or maybe I want to um, erase somebody's name or social security number or something like that. I can do that as well. You can see I erased it and it's really good for taking off things as well. So I'm going to click apply and then um, if you want to retake you can. When you're done you're going to click the done button at the very top of your screen right here. I'm going to click done and then it's going to say it's scanned to drive. It's going to tell you what the file name is. You can click in here and change it and I'm going to put testing because we're testing, but you would put your file name. So it could be an information about brokerage services. It could be a contract, whatever it is. You put that in the address of the property. You put it in the folder you want and then your account and then click save. And you can see here I have that testing turned into a PDF. This is the thing that I had just scanned and it looks pretty good. And I just scanned something from my phone into a PDF using Google Drive. One of my favorite features. Um, I love it. Let me know if you love it too.
in the comments below, but yes, one of my favorite features. This helps me a lot when I'm on the go. So anyway, guys, that's it for Google Drive. I hope that you are using it. You're storing your documents and your forms and everything that you get filled out, your emails, your text messages, all of those things need to be saved. You need to keep your files. It doesn't really matter how long you keep them if you have storage and you could just keep them indefinitely digitally because it's not costing you anything to keep them. You have two terabytes of data with your KW account and your Google Drive. See all of my transactions that are in here? I only have 1.7 gig. You've got plenty of storage to store in Google Drive so make sure that you're using um, the storage that you have allowed to you in Google Drive because you're going to want to be able to access it on the go in your hand with the app and also um, on your desktop when you're at your computer. So make sure you're using that and let me know in the comments below if you are using Google Drive and what your favorite feature is of Google Drive. And I'll see you next week.